Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks. I've been really, really busy just with life stuff, but as promised, the next video I wanted to show you was my um, formal living room makeover. So here is the after. I am gonna insert some pictures right now of the before when we first bought the house um, and after we painted the walls. But um, this is the finished product and then I'm gonna go through each and every item like I did in the dining room, which is connect it to it over there and show you guys where I got everything and kind of give you ballpark prices and then I'll link all the items that I can find still online um, below in the description box because some of this stuff I purchased a long time ago and just finally put everything together. But here is an overview of the room. And again, it's open to the dining room, which is over there. And then over here, is this side of the room and then I will go ahead and insert those before photos now so you guys can see them Okay, I guess we can start on this side of the room. Let me kind of back up so you guys can see. Um, it's kind of dark in here because of the glare, but that is my front porch outside of those two windows there. And that's the front door over there. So this is the front of the house, the first um, room you see when you walk into the house. And on this back wall or this front wall, um, the curtain rods came from, and they are the mosaic ones, they came from Home Goods, and they were $14.99 each, so I bought two of them. I also have the same one in the dining room. These curtains are just bright white, but they kind of have a sheer effect paneling to them, and I purchased these from hmm, Home Goods or Target. I'll have to find it, check my email, but they were very inexpensive. Um, no more than like $20 a panel and of course I got four panels and then this picture up here I had custom made this is um, a mirrored frame that I got from Target it's the threshold brand and I believe it was $35 but I got it on Black Friday so I think it was like $15 or something um, and it holds an a 16 by 20 photo so that's a 16 by 20 photo it just does come with a mat but I didn't use it and then the photo I'm sorry the chandelier is a glare but I had my wedding picture right there on the left merged with my mom's wedding picture on the right so I had already seen this picture before I got married and I knew I wanted to mimic it so I did and then I decided to merge them together instead of having two frames on this wall so I thought that was nice so and I just used a service on Etsy to do the editing for that. Okay, so then this table is still a work in progress, guys. But the table is from Target. All the tables in here actually are from Target. They're all mirrored. Um, but this is a console table. I got it on sale um, probably two years ago before we bought the house because I knew I wanted to do mirrored furniture in here. Um, I think I got it for like $150. 30 or something at the time. I'm not sure how much it is now, but I'll link it below because I know they still do sell it. And then I just have pictures of my deceased grandparents down there that I used for my wedding. Um, I had a memorial table and then I have my wedding album down here. Um, and then up here, I just have some candle holders from Ross. They were $10.99 and $11.99. The candles came from Home Goods. Um, and I still haven't opened them. And again, I'm sorry for the lighting in here, guys. It really is bad. Um, but I got those and they're really pretty like this one has like a glittery effect on it and then this one also but it has like jewels or beads on it so it's really pretty um, this apothecary jar I use this year round and I don't use it in here I use it in different areas of the house but for right now I'm not using it so I just put it right there you I'm going to get some more picture frames to put here I think and then these um, hurricanes came from 
Burlington, which I hauled a while back, and they just have tea lights in them. So that is this side of the room. I'll back up so you guys can see it one last time. Again, I'm so sorry for the glare and the lighting in here. Um, the chandelier came from Overstock. No, I think it came from Amazon, actually. And I think I paid like $115 for it. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, and then this back wall, which is really, really, really nice. Um, I ordered the wall decal off of Amazon um, a couple years ago, but I can still link it down below. It says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. And then the four canvases from our wedding, um, these are the, I think the 16 by 20 size as well. And I got them from a company called canvasondemand.com. Um, and they're a really, really good company, really, really good quality. I got them on Black Friday one year. So I got all four for $100. And usually this size and the gallery wrapped edges, which I got black, as you can see, the edges are all black on all of them, are usually, I think, between 80 and $100 for one. So I got, 100, I got um, four for $100 shipped to me you know, on Black Friday, I think two years ago or so. Um, so that is on the back wall and I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, so my side tables are also from Target. I like these because they are the pyramid style. Um, so I thought they were cute. I ended up paying, I think like 60 bucks for them. I don't know how much their full price is, but I'll link them down below because I know they still have them. Um, that deer head came from Michael's um, during the holidays last year, I believe. I think I got it for like $10 with the coupons and the sales. The acrylic frame came from Marshalls, I believe. Let's see. Yep, Marshalls for $6.99, and I still have to get some pictures to put in here. Um, I've been asking my family members for pictures, so they're working on getting me some more. And these couches are actually new. Um, these came from Macy's, um, and they're a gray color. They're not quite the same gray as the wall, but I wanted a little bit of a contrast. So both of these came from Macy's, and I'll link them down below if I can find them. Um, Let's see, the pillows. Um, these pillows, and I've hauled all this stuff before, but these pillows came two in a pack, I think from Marshalls, and I think they were $20 or $25 for two. Uh, the white um, furry ones came from Hobby Lobby, and I got them for $13 each, I believe. Um, these uh, sequin ones are really pretty, but these are actually pillow covers that I got from Hobby Lobby for $3 each. Um, with the sale and I just used some old pillows that I had from an old couch and put them in there and then this silver beaded pillow I thought this couch needed something in the center. I'm still not sold on this pillow, but it just looked empty in the center So I got this from let's see where did I get this from Burlington for $14.99 So for right now it serves the purpose and then I just have the same thing on the other side of the couch um, And then the same thing on this couch over here now for the coffee table. This also came from Target. I don't believe how much I paid for it, but I will link it down below. I know I got them on sale. And then this picture frame, this double picture frame came from Target as well. I'm still waiting to put a picture on the left side, but I do have um, my girlfriend's daughter Harper in that side. So I'm waiting on another picture from a family member to put on the other side. Um, this acrylic tray, I believe this came from um, Home Goods for $19.99, $20. And then the silver candle holder came from Ikea years ago. Um, the white candle is actually from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And the vase is from the gallery. I have the same vases on my dining room um, centerpiece over there from Z Gallery and they were $10, the small size. And then this mosaic bowl came from TJ Maxx. I believe it was $7.99, $8.99. And then these are the acrylic I'm sorry, the porcelain pumpkins from the um, Target dollar spot from last year, I believe. So I just kept it simple for the fall. Um, and then over here, here's that second table, the same one as on the left side of the couch. And on this side, I just have this small faux plant. I thought it needed a little bit of greenery in here. And this came from Home Goods for $5.99. Another one of the acrylic picture frames from Marshalls. And then the third tall 
candle holder from Ross. I believe that was $12.99. And then another one of the silver beaded candles. So I kept it simple. The tabletops are kind of small, so I didn't want to put too much on them. And then for my rug, I needed something. My whole house is hardwood, so I needed something to kind of ground the space. So I got this white fur rug to match the white fur pillows on the couch. And I actually ordered this from um, homedecorators.com, but you can also get it from um, Home Depot because they sell homedecorators.com. And I'll link it below, the size and everything that I got. And I got it on sale, so I think I only paid like 120 some dollars for it. But it is a very nice size. Now to keep it clean, we don't typically come in this room because it's the formal um, living room. But when I am in here, I try to take off my shoes at least on the rug. But you can vacuum this. Um, I haven't tried the spot cleaner yet because again, we don't use it. But you can um, vacuum it and spot clean it. So to turn to this side of the room, um, this is where the love seat is. Again, the same pillows from on the sofa, so I won't go over that again, and I'll link the sofa in the love seat below. This clock here is called the Addison Wall Clock, um, and this is from Kirkland's. Um, it's usually $130, but I got it on sale for $80, um, and then I just hung it up on the wall there. And then this bar cart, I've done a video on this before. Um, the bar cart is from Target from last year, so I don't think they still sell this one. But um, I did a bar cart styling video, so I'll link that below so that you can see it. <coughs> and then I just store extra bottles of wine for entertaining right there on the side of there. But yeah, I'll link that video so you guys can see everything, um, you know, that I put on the bar cart and where I got it from. I think I have a haul video on that. And then the final thing are just these um, wall mirrors that I got. They were a pack of three, and I bought both of them from, I believe, Marshalls for $7.99. And I just hung them here. And then there is another one, another pack of them over here. So guys, this is the room. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just let me know um, in the comments down below and I'll tell you um, where I got everything from in detail. I'm gonna try to link everything, but if you have any questions that I don't answer by you know, me linking them or in the video, then just feel free to ask me. Um, in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye